For me, I don't know if this film changed how I see citizenship, but I hope it changes the way other people see citizenship, the people that watch the film, because like I said earlier, these are these are Canadian kids who were born here, who grew up here, who went to all the same schools as any Canadian citizen. So I hope they're just, you know, afforded the same rights and privileges of any Canadian. So I hope that's what people take away from this film. And as far as advocacy, I would just say, like for me, I kind of always thought of advocacy as like some outside force kind of coming in and like talking for different communities or like on their behalf. So I would say what these mothers taught me was just kind of advocating for yourself, advocating for your community, because there's certain complexities that politicians and the justice system is just not going to understand what these mothers do. So if you want to advocate for your community, it has to come from you and has to come from the community. That's one thing you've not, you've not taught me. I feel like it's every citizen's responsibility to protect democracy. Obviously, you know, the recent U.S. presidential election reminded us all of that. Um, I feel like I feel like as a citizen and particularly as like a white middle-aged person that I have a responsibility to constantly check my privilege and find ways to um, use it to shift the colonial system that we're living in to create a more equitable, uh, more healthy world and communities, planet, all of it. Um, obviously doing work that's focused around citizenship and, and, um, civic engagement reminds us of that, that it's, it's just that it's our duty, it's our role and it's, it's necessary. I learned that, that it takes more than just a protest or an email to your counselor or something like that to really have an impact, uh, to the way that politicians and, and, and decision makers are operating at City Hall. And it takes a, a lot of work. It takes a lot of organizations coming together to balance the scales and really present uh, their point of view uh, and their ideas of how things should be run in the city uh, to come together and, and work. I come from, from a country where politics uh, have are very convoluted and I feel like through this project and the group that I followed, I learned that my cynicism, that I should overcome my cynicism and that I should learn from them. And, 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 and I've been inspired to maybe act in a different way and take on democracy into my own hands and be more active democratically. I think it does change my view on citizenship and also engagement in the sense that uh, we need, to, you know, as citizens, we can't just sit back and, and, and be a citizen and, and expect the best from our governments. We need to be more involved in any way possible, and that's personal for a lot of people. Uh, we need to be more engaged and involved in what's going on. If we want to see um, uh, significant changes in our lives. Like Dave Meslin says in the film, I, I am not a conspiracy theorist either, but I do think that we're a little bit in a cruise control state in our democracy where um, politi politicians especially are only interested in our vote uh, at election time and aren't really interested in our engagement on a more consistent basis. So our governments aren't sending the message that our engagement is even welcome. Uh, and weirdly enough, but maybe not so weirdly enough, people kind of need permission to have, make their voice heard and, uh, to speak out. And, um, I think government could be doing a, still a better job in engaging the public and making their voice, um, telling them that their voice matters and, and that their voice is valuable. Uh, and I think that would go a long way uh, to making civic engagement more appealing uh, and more interesting um, in our daily lives. 
this film did change how I view civic engagement and advocacy. Um, in getting to learn Jean's story and the decades of activism, both inside and outside of government, I, I didn't fully understand how much she had actually accomplished from the outside through her grassroots her grassroots activism. And so getting to know just how much she was able to achieve before she ever entered politics, um, or pardon me, before she was ever elected uh, at age 75 to, uh, to city council, really helped me understand that there's multiple ways to affect change and uh, elected office and grassroots are just two different avenues. Um, and also not forgetting uh, civil disobedience when that is the right course of action as Jean proved uh, when she uh, was arrested on Burnaby Mountain protesting um, the pipeline. Well, we learned a lot from, <laughs> from making um, the, the film, but I think like in terms of like on a, on a human level, like um, so not about the story or gaining filmmaking skills, but just kind of human experience. Um, one of the things that I learned is that uh, resilience and qualities like strength are really infectious that by being around people who are strong and mothers who are, who after losing a child are, um, that are then able to work to fix that problem. Like that to me is the definition of strength and kind of overcoming um, our worst days. And so by spending time with both the Shumsos, like I felt like I like gained some armor and some resilience and some like um, life experience that might be important uh, for, for both Rob and I down the road. For me, um, my father was raised in that community that we filmed. Um, I helped the center once in a while uh, last year. I didn't help a lot during the pandemic. And I think that's why I was, I really wanted to do something for them during the pandemic. And I think what I learned is that if you help uh, the youth, you can actually make a difference. Like I've seen the kids before, like before the pandemic, and just to see their motivation, their smile, their engagement during the pandemic, I just, I saw while filming, I just saw that we can make a difference uh, if we help our youth. And even if we help our, the, the, the people in the community in general, before filming, I didn't really see that. It really, when I, I dived in, in, in the story, that I realized that, wow, it can really make a difference. It's just a small gesture can make a difference to a kid, to an adult, to someone in your community. One of the things I, I really hope people will learn is about um, an Ojibwe concept. I, I'd like to, to, sh to share an Ojibwe concept. It's called Mino Bamatsuin. And what Mino Bamatsuin means is living a good life. And that was one of the things I thought about instantly when um, I was thinking about this civic engagement. Um, because what living a good life means is looking at sharing, um, sharing, being kind, um, giving to the greater good, contributing to the greater good, I should say. And um, when, when I re really thought about this film um, and the principles that, that my own father taught me, I thought this this would fit right in there. Um, so yeah, um, as, as I said, Mino Bumatsuin, I, I think really living a good life is what this film is about and the principles that go along with it. I hope people learn that, you know, community work um, is obviously very important and that your activism can really start anywhere. Activism can start at school, it can start at work, it can start in the community, it can start in the library, that no small act um, is unimportant and that it's important to bring yourself to your work. You know, um, in the film, you learn sometimes that, 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 Jill, that you see that Jill bring, brings all of herself, all of herself, um, and that's, that's important to do. As, as, as I said, I want people to learn that no small act is, is, is unimportant and that it's important to use whatever platform and whatever voice you have to bring to your cause. I want people to learn that you don't have to be perfect to make change. 
that we can all be growing and learning and trying to make change at the same time. You have this idea of what a change maker looks like and a change maker is really all of us. We definitely wanted uh, to make it exp uh, inspiring uh, because although it is a, a subject that's quite uh, serious when we're talking about food scarcity and children uh, during the pandemic, they're all very uh, serious subjects and important um, um, side effects as well that I have been uh, Put brought to another level with the pandemic. Um, and so what we're hoping to, to show uh, the public is that uh, even during hard times, you can heal as a community and to just, even sometimes when we're so focused on us, we kind of forget that sometimes when we get all together and we um, gather the community, we can heal even more or help each other even more, the importance of community, uh, especially when uh, social gatherings aren't allowed and the schools are closed and whatnot. And so we're really hoping to show people that even in hard times, uh, not to feel so alone. There is a community, there are resources, and uh, we are stronger together.